I'm Eric Lanigan with Lanigan and Lanigan Attorneys in Winter Park, Florida. I've had many people who have watched various videos that we've done and, and read our, some of our blog posts who when they have come in have commented that while all of the videos are educational and helpful, they really don't know anything about who is the person uh, behind the voice. And, and it's been suggested that maybe I talk a little bit about who I am and, and how I got to be standing here today. And uh, brief history, I've always lived in Florida. Over the years, practice evolves. Sometimes it's where you direct yourself and other times it's just where you end up. For example, bankruptcy is one of those areas. Um, for many years, I had a client who would refer me bankruptcy cases because they had a business where they did counseling for people in um, financial straits. And every month there'd be a certain number, three, four, five, maybe six, that really their only way out was to file bankruptcy. And so we would do anywhere from two to five or six bankruptcies a month. And that went on for years. And then 2007 came and I started to notice that two or three or four or five bankruptcies a month was suddenly two or three or four bankruptcies a week. And by the beginning of 2008, it was two, three, four new bankruptcies a day. So it's one of those things that it just explodes in front of you, not because you necessarily planned it that way, but you, you just happen to be, I guess you could say, in the, in the right place at the right time, at least from a lawyer's perspective. And that's happened in, in other areas of, of the law as well. I, I've done a, a tremendous amount of securities litigation representing people who have suffered investment in losses. And that was somewhat of a unique way that I got involved in that in that I was about 34, 35 at the time and had really gotten somewhat burned out in, in law and I suddenly woke up one day and decided that I was going to get involved in financial planning and working in with uh, securities, insurance, things like that and, and deal in what I thought was a simpler part of people's lives. Um, and I, I became securities licensed. Uh, I worked very hard in that field. And what happened after about four or five years in that arena is because of my legal background, and I would meet people and they would tell me about these just terrible things that had gone on and, and the money that they had lost in investments. And, and I would help people deal with how to go about trying to recover those investments. And I remember very distinctly I had two men come to me who sold securities and they had been very active involved in selling this one investment. They had sold it to their parents, their friends, and it turned out to be pretty much a scam. And they wanted me to represent literally their parents to try to get a recovery. And I told them that I really couldn't do it because the economics of it it just wasn't there because they really, those individuals had not lost that much money and the cost of trying to recover it just, it wouldn't make any sense. And these two individuals said, well, what if we got you 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 people who had the same investment? Would it then be worth it? And I thought about it for a moment and I said, well, yeah, I guess it would be. And literally within two weeks, they had referred in what amounted to 125 people everywhere from Key West to Honolulu who had invested in this investment vehicle, all wanted to hire me to recover the money. And I remember going home one night and saying to my wife, Jane, I said, well, I'm back in the law because suddenly I had 125 of these security cases and it took over my life. And that was probably around 19, early 90s. And since then I was suddenly found myself back in the full-time practice of law and have enjoyed it immensely since then. So in a way, getting out of the law 
taking a, a breather from the practice of law for four or five years um, gave me a, a fresh perspective on it and it also without my really intending it to be this way, I developed an education in a very specialized area which was securities fraud. And I, I've always enjoyed that and um, up until the bankruptcy explosion, that type of litigation as well as real estate oriented litigation, problems with the homes, um, termites, sinkholes, uh, you name it, I've always done the, that type of litigation. That was the predominant area of my practice until this whole bankruptcy thing really exploded in 2000, two, 2007, 2008. And that has, you know, I think for the benefit of our economy, that has slowed down to a great deal. So appreciate your time. And again, I'm Eric Lanigan with Lanigan and Lanigan Attorneys in Winter Park, Florida.